We are literally 60 trillion cells all like just walking to the beat of our inner drummer. When the thoughts are calmly collected and the imagination is properly directed, the dots are easily connected. All right, welcome back to another episode of Connecting the Dots. I'm your host, Nico Sofianos, and today we're going to talk about the basic music theory. I'm going to share with you pretty much the big picture as to how I've come to connect all these dots and how I see they all connect. Um, using the metaphor of music has been, there's been no better metaphor for me to understand what's going on here than just music. Now, I might be biased because I'm a sound engineer, I'm a drummer, I'm a I'm a, I'm a singer, I'm a vocalist, and having come into all this esoteric knowledge, I came to realize that all of this stuff is very, uh, it's very common with like whether it's Jim Morrison or uh, you know Tupac Shakur, or Bob Marley. A lot of these guys, these musicians who came into massive influence, positions of mass mass influence, they also came into this knowledge, and there was a connection between the fact that they were musicians and why they had a thirst for this knowledge. And then once they came into the knowledge, actually started to try to disseminate and save literally humanity from the trajectory that it was inevitably on, you know, in the ignorance of not knowing what's going on. So why music? Why can a five-piece band, four or five-piece band, literally command the power that it does worldwide to the point people are speaking like this, they're talking like this, they're dressing like that, like dancing with this move. And there's such a great power in music. And why? Because the universe, if you just break the word down, uni is one, verse is song, Latin for song. The song to which we all belong and have come here to sing along loud, proud, and strong. Now, musicians like these have reached the degrees of influence on this planet that you could see why it's no coincidence they disappeared pretty quickly as soon as they started actually disseminating and trying to actually, you know, share this, uh, this clarion call, this like, hey, wake up. So universe, yeah, one song, that's what this is. And uh, there's a quote I have to recite right now. It's uh, one, one of my favorite, uh, Socrates, I think, says this. Man speaks in prose, but the gods speak in verse. And another quote to just kind of support that, Pythagoras, another Greek mystic, the Greek mystic now, not just philosopher, but like Gnostic mystic philosopher. He said, and you've, you've heard this, Man, know thyself, and thou shalt know the universe and the gods. And the gods. So it's not just man, know thyself. That's the Greek uh, pronounce, uh, 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 phrase of what's there at the Oracle of Delphi. Man, know thyself. But there's the second part, and thou shalt know the universe and the gods. Now, Pythagoras was a musician. Just like Einstein was a musician. All these guys were tapped in. And why being a musician had the more tapped in? Because this is all music here. Literally, the human body is an instrument, an organic mechanical animal, as sometimes I refer to it as. We are literally 60 trillion cells all like just walking to the beat of our inner drummer, the heart. And we're all here literally like in this vessel that's literally the universe wrapped in skin. It's a microcosm of the universe wrapped in skin. And thus we have like the, you know, the pebble on the mountain or the, the ripple in the ocean. We're all like a small micro part of this massive thing. And it's one, it's a singular, it's a singularity, a self similarity. And that's what fractal geometry is. It's understanding this pattern and we see this pattern in in the ebony's and ivories called the piano uh as yin and yang uh five you know like the five fingers of the hand phi is in the phi golden mean ratio um, that's the whole the truvian man and everything in nature follows this the fibonacci sequence and numbers and we're going to talk about that in another uh uh episode but we have the five black keys and then we have the or ebony's and then we have the uh seven Ivories, which the seven we know correspond to the seven glands of the endocrine system, uh, the system that rules literally our 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 everything, our 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 sleep, our dream state, our growth, our growth hormones, and the seven plexuses, the nervous plexuses, the seven. Uh, um, basically, they're called chakras in in the Eastern, but like the seven like 
tones, the seven parts of that make up the spiritual aspect of us. If the black are the five that make up the physical, the carbon-based aspect of, of who and what we are, and there's a whole bunch in carbon and Y666. We'll get into all of this, so be patient and trust me. Subscribe, hit that like button, and prepare for an incredible dissemination of some incredible dots that have been getting connected. Uh, and of course, getting calm, getting the conversation, question, uh, and, and be involved. That's what this is. It's a, it's a, it's a public disc, uh, discourse of, of, of conversation. It's a dialogue publicly. Converse, versation, verse as in like, we're singing along here. That's what we all came to do. There ain't no creation like a collaboration. I always say that. So seven main parts of our astral body, okay, our soul, soul, that which the word itself literally do so lay, sun, psyche. It's the aspect of us that represents the mind, the heavens on earth as it is in heaven. And that is the seven. And down here we have this five, five, we see it in nature everywhere. And all of this is literally like music. Everything here is like music. And you see, just like the nature of those keys in a piano, the traditional piano that we uh, that we play, the concert piano, there's actually seven octaves. It's 88 keys. So there again, you're going to hear seven again. And and 88, of course, why eight? Eight is infinity, right? And, and what happens is each octave, and this happens to infinity, like in both directions. And that's the principle of polarity and hermetic wisdom. If you're referring to the, the hermetic trisma, uh, Hermes trismagi, Trismagistos, it's hard for me to say it in English, Trismagistus, <laughs> I'm Greek, I have to like say it in Greek. But yeah, like these um, these principles, seven hermetic principles, which we're going to talk about again as well in a separate uh, podcast episode, they correspond to this infinite repeating pattern in both directions, but there is no direction. There's only a propagation spherically outward from this in, in, in uh, the singularity and it's going into infinity and then somehow like the toroidal field comes back into zero so it's like it's a concept that our mortal minds cannot co quite comprehend but it's a design that we can observe in nature that is unquestionable it's re it's repeated everywhere and that's what the scientific process is about is like does this repeat can we actually compare this or is it just something that we're seeing and giving meaning to that doesn't necessarily know the seven and the five which make up the what 12 12 sets of ribs of the human body the ark of the covenant think about that the ark that's what our ribs do as they protect what the vital organs specifically our heart all this stuff astrophysiology astro um theology ash all of it comes back to these numbers and what are numbers but very much just the language of nature the only language that man didn't invent or or design he just observed and, and comprehended it through through the observation of nature itself and when you look at nature it's literally like this ecological symphony that is taking place right there in front of our face and we are a part of so there's this divine orchestration and you could say the conductor is God. And we're going to talk about what is God. He's, well, if he's this divine conductor, then you know what does the conductor do? He's doing this. He's keeping everything like your heart is. These 60 trillion cells staying in meter, on beat, in tune. And that's why I say life is like a music sheet. So ask yourself every day, am I in tune? Am I on beat? Because that's what this is. This human experience is our opportunity to come from the seven of heaven and literally be wrapped in skin with these five to take part in this, in these vibes. We're in these collaborations, in these co-creations. We're living in a time right now where the music, the song, so to speak, is becoming, it's coming from one key, the key of Pisces, into a new key, the key of Aquarius. And I'm going to say it, and I'm going to say it again. It's the, it's the age in which truth and knowledge takes care of us. And therefore, not my theory of all of this is we are literally all instruments that are, are playing a crucial role for a, for, for, a, for a common goal. And should we dare to step up and recognize that our voice, our roar, opposite Aquarius, is Leo, 
the, the inner lion, that our roar is so important for others through which to, uh, you know, through which healing can happen. A post, uh, you know, that you made in, in Honolulu can literally save someone who's suicidal in Europe. Like, this is where we're at. And a song, which is not just a post now, but incantation, taking the words and putting them into music, into the very thing that governs all things, it just amplifies it so much more. And it allows for us, therefore, to inspire each other, be inspired, aspire, and do that thing, inspiration, which is expiration. And inspiration is respiration. It's breathing. And the entire universe is doing just that. So think of it like God is the conductor and his very breath we share as we expand and contract like the planets, like everything that pulses, circles and orbits in the entire universe. One song, baby. We all belong. I'm not going to say much more. I think I'm going to keep these as short as I possibly can because I know it's a lot for the mortal mind to comprehend. But I know a lot of a lot of you listeners are already on this level. And I'm like giving you both, like all of you, thumbs up, sending you so much love and encouraging you to share this stuff. Comment, get involved. Like I said, click that click that subscribe you know hit that bell and be a part of this be like instantaneously in sync with me so that we can continue to amplify these vibes for all of humanity because it's not about me it's about we and it's not about you but it's all about you and how you play this role in all of humanity so thanks for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one